Hi Taurus, I hope that you're doing amazing. Welcome to my channel. Um, this is your weekly reading, 8 till 14 June. Um, it kind of focuses on like those first two weeks of June 2020 um, and what happens afterwards. So we're sort of where you're now and where you're going next. All right. So um, for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. And for those of you that are coming back, you may or may not know that my readings last week were about Twin Flame Love. So you're more than welcome to go and check that out again or as well if you like um you know in correlation obviously to this reading and see how things are slotting in with each other okay um so taurus taurus sun moon rising and ascending this is a general reading so you know whatever's for you is for you and whatever doesn't resonate you know with you just release it with peace and just release it with love and just let the vibe go okay um, <laughs> well for those of you that don't know me my name is adrian um, I'm a holistic wellness practitioner, psychic medium, um, doing tarot since 2001, and let's see what we got for you. Um, I think I said it's a general guidance reading, did I? So what? Yeah, I did say that. So if you want to have a personal detailed reading, 12 US dollars for a 30 minutes downloadable reading that I do send to you. I do have quite a lot at the moment, so please note that if you do order a reading, it may take three to five days for you to get it. Okay. Um, I always make sure that I first go into this beautiful, beautiful energy of love and light, obviously, before I do your reading, because I want to give it, I want to give you all, okay? You're more than welcome to follow me on Facebook and um, Instagram. There's two cards that came, three cards that came out for you, okay? No problem, we're going to do them all. We're going to do them all, okay? Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, leave me some comments, let me know what's happening, what's happening in your life. And thank you for welcoming me into your life. I really do appreciate it very much. Thank you. Okay. Let's see what we got. But your cards are flying all over the place, which normally to me means very direct messages coming out there. And, you know, I'm just looking as I'm bending back because that little green spot there at the back is actually a table that I normally use when I go to like holistic, um, like wellness events really. And I do readings there or, you know, numerology charts or whatever I'm there to do the day, Reiki crystal healing, whatever. And, um, yeah, I really miss it, you know, and um, I know this is a difficult time for all of us. So from my heart, I want to send you all some love. Hang in there. We're going to get through this, okay? We're going to get through this together, okay? Right, let's have a look. See what we got. You come across something you love, you breathe it into your heart. You see that it's not for you, you're like, not for me, bye-bye. Okay, all right, Taurus, moonlight. What is that, you know, in the middle of the night when you're asleep and it's just you, it doesn't have to be a moonlit night. Um, it could be raining like it was with me last night here in Cape Town and I love the rain. So, but inside of you, you know, <clears throat> sorry, I feel that there's an inner sort of wisdom that's emerging. But some of you are um, a little nervous about it. All right, so you're sort of merging towards what was, you know, sort of like your previous um, escape mechanisms or ex escape sort of ways or things that you would do. Um, but it, there's sort of like an inner wisdom coming out, but it feels like even though many of you are aware of this, you're not quite sure what to do with this. All right. Um, and so it's making you feel a little bit displaced. And um, but it's also as if these previous sort of um you know things that you would that you would go back to that you revert back to may have worked for a little while but it's not really working anymore so you sort of like a bit at a loss for what to do you know you're like i don't really it's not like i don't want to do anything i'm just not a hundred percent certain what i am actually to do okay um the good thing is that you there is sort of a you know a willingness within you to still do something which is a great 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 thing okay now i'm looking at these three cards that fell out here for you i'm going to take the top one and then i'm going to take them as the unfolder to see how the message unfolds for you so the first one says transformation a fresh new way of living emerges okay so you are in a very powerful transformative period okay um and sometimes when we move to something very powerful, um, 
even though you may have you know been prepared for it for a while when it when it happens you feel again a little bit displaced you know it's like um you may even feel a little bit there like the bird has been kicked out of the nest for the first time so you have no option but to fly because if you don't fly you're gonna crash you know but i feel that for many of you you sort of in that period uh, where you have sort of flapped your wings already so you you kind of establish that um, you can fly um, or you can like sort of soar in the sky you know you're not gonna fall to the ground you're not gonna crash and burn but um now that you've sort of realized that you can say up in the air, you know, it's almost like some of you are saying, okay, now what, you know? And there's sort of like that longing to, to take the chance to now go and fly higher. But you're like, do I or don't I, you know? <laughs> Look at what this next card says. You're answering the call. The time is now. The time to, you know, um, this is almost like, um, you know you get a sort of fantasy films and type of things sometimes and there's like a mirror or a passageway or something being presented to you and so you kind of put your hand in and it goes like you know and you kind of ask yourself do I take the chance do I do this if it's safe to do this the time for you is now okay trust that there is a divine plan let that really speak to your heart. Trust that there's a divine plan, that you are not alone, that the source that um, created you also maintains you, is with you always. And it's time for you, um, for, for your own greatest benefit, to open your heart to all that magic that can really um, shine from inside. Okay, it's, 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 it, it'll be such a beautiful thing for you to open your heart to all the potential that, that may have been dormant there for a while. And I feel that for some of you, you feel very um, heavy and, and even tired and maybe even despondent inside your soul because you may have tried, you know, many times to take new chances, do new things, give life a chance, give people a chance, give something new a chance, uh, you know, clean slate and all those things. But somehow it didn't work out and you might have, you know, you may feel kind of quite despondent towards this whole new, trying new things. Those were lessons that you needed to learn to bring you to where you are right now. Okay. You have, what does it say? You have more options than you realize. I mean, this, there is nothing, um, there is nothing vague about this reading for you, you know, it, it tells you straight, transformative period, the time is now, trust that is divine plan, moonlight, trust your emotions, and also with, with um, 551, the 5 plus 1 equals 6, you turn 6 around, it becomes more, um, there's potential for so much more, for quick moving forwards, you know, for double up, double up, double ups for you, um, at the back it says, it sure is hard to get really angry at someone when you can think of all the reasons you love them. Okay. And Kunzeit, self-love, focusing on you. All right. Many of you focus on many, many things, but it is time to focus on you. Okay, we're going to take this deck and we're going to clarify for you this moonlight first, this emotions. We're going to clarify for you that card. All right. What is this wisdom coming in? What is the guidance there for you from the universe? And the universe is not like a higher part of you or a, all those type of things, you know, high, pie in the sky type of thing. It's you. Wow. 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 It's like these cards are like, pick me, pick me, pick me. So Ace of Pentacles, the Empress and the Two of Swords. Wow. That's amazing. So first of all, um, it's safe for you to dream. Okay, it's safe for you to open your heart to all that it is that you desire, be that love, be that career, be that whatever. It's safe for you to open your heart for that. There's one card that fell over here just now, and I'm telling you, it is profound as in profound. Okay, um, the Empress lets you know there that you know, um, so. 
amazing 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 things are on their way there for you you can trust your feelings you can trust your gut right now that inner sort of gut that you have that inner sort of feeling that you have you can really trust that right now that is your inner um, map really that is pointing you to which where it is that you want to go and um, for those of you that feel like you don't know where to go you're feeling a little bit stuck there the empress is saying to you you gotta chill papa okay there's there's no need to get yourself in a complete tough and a run about things because just because you don't see the solution now don't you worry if you can um, if you can have faith and belief and just trust, you know, just even just a little bit and, and have patience and give life a chance to, um, there's a lot happening in the background for you in the energetic field. So for all of that to perfectly line up, you know, all the slots, it will unfold in your, um, you know, your physical experience of life so beautifully. Okay. Give life a chance to surprise you. And then for this card that says the time is now, the, the world card just fell on it there. And the world card is all about prosperity and possibility and abundance and um, magic and, you know, all those things that are just working out, sometimes without us even trying. So um, life really wants you to know right now, Capri, uh, sorry. Life really wants you to know right now, Taurus. I don't know why I said Capricorn. Maybe you should go have a look at the Capricorn reading as well. It was actually a really beautiful reading, by the way. Um, but life wants you to know, Taurus, that... Actually, sorry, now that I really think about it, this Capricorn reading actually sort of slots in with yours. Hmm. So maybe you should go have a look at it. You know, maybe there's a definite message here for you. But... Uh, for, for this reading specifically, Taurus, there is, you're entering such an amazing period, you know. It's safe for you to answer the call because this is life calling you towards your greater purpose. There's so much that is ready. The Empress says to you, you know, that it's it's ready, It's but, but life is also waiting on you. All right, so I don't want to confuse you. So, in the one sense... There is a question for patience, or there's a request for patience, all right? So those things in your life that you would like to have resolved, that are not yet resolved at this particular point in time. And it doesn't matter what those things are. Any desires of your heart, money, education, love, all that sort of things, okay? For the things that, are, that you don't yet, the solution itself hasn't presented itself yet. So the, the request from the universe is there for you, Taurus, that you don't go and sort of fill in your own blanks. Because remember, when we don't know what to do and we act almost like from a point of desperation and you go from what you previously got, you go often from a solution that didn't work previously in any case. Okay, so wait for those ones to present themselves to you. But for um, and for for a while now, I've had these beautiful offers that are coming your way. The offers are starting to come in. So when things happen and they're a little bit different to what you would maybe suspect, you know, and it's not really quite the sort of thing that you would do, know that that is life that is giving it to you. Okay, transformation, a new way of living emerges. The Knight of Swords. Abundance is really rushing towards your life you know it's letting you know that abundance is rushing towards your life oh my goodness there's a divine plan with the fool the fool is really about new beginnings letting you know that you are supported um that you don't need to worry that you may not you know you may not see how things are going to work at the moment but it's also ensuring you and letting you know that within the divine which is really, you are, um, and you know, an expression of the divine. Um, and of course, the divine only had the best in mind for itself. And because you're an expression of the divine, the divine has the best intentions for you. Okay? Um, and claim that in your heart, that the divine has the best intentions for you. Because a lot of times, we are asking, life isn't working out, why is this, um, you know, I don't get the kind of support that I want, I don't get the kind of love that I want, um, I keep on seeming to run myself into these walls. But a lot of times, those things are happening, because that's the kind of verbiage that you're putting out there. And because, you know, and I know sometimes life can really get us down, but imagine if just... Maybe, you know, this law of attraction thing, just maybe it does actually work. So how about you just give it a chance and say, if I allow myself to maybe just 
you know, focus on a different way. What might be working? What could be possible? Getting excited for how good your life may become. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. A whole new world. A fantastic point of view. Okay. No one to tell us no. Where to go. You have more options than you realize. You are abundant. You have more options than you realize. You know, I always say just because you don't see the opportunity, just because you don't see the solution, doesn't mean that it's not there. It just means that you don't see it. Okay? A solution is always there. Always. What are these cards that are flying out here with a pick me, pick me attitude? Um, the Page of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Justice card. Okay. Don't fight yourself. Don't fight the universe. As as you, it's almost like the the the. the oh, I, wow! I, I'm speechless. The way that this reading is correlating with Capricorn is just amazing. Wow. The more you can go into that space of surrender, you know, not trying to change what you don't quite have the, you know, the tools to change at the moment. Just having the willingness in your mind to step away from that, you know, new things start to come in. And I feel that this speaks directly to your heart. There's a lot of abundance that wants to come through. So much. I keep on seeing the magician card. I want to. I want just the magician's also obviously letting you know that you've got everything that it takes. I wonder if it will come out again. Seemingly not, but that's okay because I've just said to you now that you know that it's there. Wow. Let's draw one more card for you. <gasps> Amazing. Amazing. Everything that you need. Is already being provided for you. You know, it, it, it's like it just evokes a song inside my heart. So beautiful. There with self-love, the hero fin. You're stepping into your power, into your potential, into all of who you are. Nine of Pentacles, abundance, your dreams are coming true. Now many of you might feel at the moment, but everything for many of you it might feel but and even for a little period there it could feel but like mm, Things are bouncing around wildly. It's not what I would prefer it to be. You know, it's it, it's challenging. It's it's really, really challenging. I say this to you. I say this to you. You have made it up to this point in this life. You have made it up to this point in life. To do some very difficult periods, to some periods you thought that you would never make it. But you made it. Which only stands to reason that whatever comes across your path, that you can make it through that as well. You've got what it takes. You always had what it takes. Okay? Thank you so much. Um, Taurus, you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful souls. Um, if it resonates with you, you're more than welcome to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell next to it so you know when your readings are coming up. Join me every week for a general guidance reading for you. You can also have a personal detailed reading. Um, currently 12 US dollars for a 30 minutes downloadable reading that I send to you. Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram and always follow the message of light inside your heart.